Matthew Epperson showed no emotion as he was sentenced to 20 years behind bars. He was convicted of shooting at George Zimmerman, but missing as he was driving in Lake Mary last year. I wanted to thank God above all for um, sparing my life that day. Epperson's wife and mother went before the judge, saying the jury got it all wrong. Disgusting lies have prevailed in such a manner that truly have discouraged my faith in our justice system. But Zimmerman says the jury got it right once again. This is the same courtroom where Zimmerman was acquitted back in 2013 for the shooting death of Trayvon Martin. We caught up with him after sentencing. What was it like to be back in courtroom 5B again three years later? Surreal is the best way I can describe it. All the deputies that were there, seeing them again, seeing them in a different context and in a different perspective. Uh, and seeing the judge again uh, from a different perspective. Zimmerman says he didn't expect the Trayvon Martin case to become center stage in this case. He stated that I shot Trayvon as a money-making endeavor. Uh, again, that's grossly unacceptable. Back in May, Zimmerman auctioned off the gun used in the Trayvon Martin shooting. He says he raised $250,000 and used it to pay off legal fees. I owe my attorneys $2.5 million. I have hard court costs in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. When Mr. LaFay and others make a big deal about $250,000, I mean, I'm still broke. I mean, they don't realize that. To this day, Zimmerman says he still gets death threats. Do you think this sentence will prevent other death threats? On me? I'm not, I'm not sure. I have no idea. I'd like it to. That'd be great. And after two major cases in three years, we asked him if he'll try to keep a lower profile. It's only because of what I went through that I realized that I'm a free American and I have absolutely every right to be out and about in my hometown with my head held high, uh, without a mask on, not in hiding. Meanwhile, the judge ordered Apperson to be held in jail during the appeals process. In Sanford, Valerie Boy, Fox 35 News.